Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So one of my viewers asked if I would do a follow-up video on removing the gold-plated pins and other gold-plated items found on circuit boards in computer towers. So I'm happy to do so. As you can see, I'm actually in a different location. I'm actually down in my basement. It's warmer in here, it's more comfortable. And I've actually been doing this for a couple days, especially winter time. It gives me an opportunity while scrapping is a little bit slow to catch up on some of my micro scrapping. Micro scrapping, in my opinion, is an excellent thing to get into, especially with the price of the different precious metals. Circuit boards do have a lot of gold in them, and you are going to make a lot more money selling the gold individually and the different items found in different uh, circuit boards like computer towers than if I was to bring these circuit boards in and sell them to a scrapyard as is. So what I want to do today is go over some of the areas, show you how I like to hopefully safely and effectively remove the pins and show you how you can start building up your stash of gold pins and other gold items as well. So here we go. The first thing I do want to point out is this board is your typical motherboard you're going to get out of a computer tower and there are other boards that you're going to find. Your DVD drive or your CD drive is going to have smaller circuit boards and these circuit boards you can bring them into the scrap yard as is and get e-waste price. Depending on where you live, different region, different country, some scrap yards will pay you a little bit more for these boards because of the precious metals. Some boards like this will be classified as high grade board and that's because of the gold on it. Most scrap yards, however, especially the ones I go to, only have one category and they only give me about five to 10 cents a pound, which is not a lot in my opinion. The scrap yards that give you high grade I've seen prices at 20 to 25 cents a pound, which is better, and it's definitely better than going to the landfill. But in my opinion, it is definitely not worth as much as you're going to get from selling this to places online or holding on to the precious metal. So again, this is out of my uh, CD drive. Two places that I have gold here. I've got a really nice strip, and I will remove these. I will cut these off, and I will actually hold on to these. They're, these are all gold-plated. Um, I actually have them in a nice container here and I am going to weigh these after. There is also some really nice prong connectors you can see in here. That is gold as well, these pins, and I'm going to show you how to remove those as well. You have another one here. This is another type of CD drive that you have. These have, if I turn this aside, some gold pins in here as well that I'm going to be looking at in a second. Um, as well, your larger motherboard. This is the motherboard that comes out of the computer tower. There is usually a, an aluminum heat sink that goes uh, somewhere on the board. Once you remove that, underneath that, you're going to find a CPU chip. The CPU chip varies in size and in look. As you can see, this one has some beautiful gold pronged teeth, gold plated pronged teeth. As you can see, they stick out. Some of them, they will not actually stick out. You can see the gold there, but if I turn it, they are not sticking out. Um, again, as I said, there's smaller ones that don't have the box inside, but there's some really nice gold. And these, I will not take the pins off of these. I will actually sell these as is. These are uh, paid per weight, and I will weigh this in a bit, but I've got, as you can see, a number of different um, CPU chips that are all gold plated. Uh, I have seen some people actually sell these online. You do want to check the uh, pin on there because some of these are actually worth $100 just for... Uh, resale value for different computers um, but uh, for me right now I have not researched any of these I just hold on to them for the gold there are also on this one you can see right here and right here two uh, IC chips these IC chips do have you can see some gold there and what I do is I will take a chisel I will pop those off and as you can see I do collect these these are also sold online as well per pound uh, which is, uh, again, better than I'm going to get if I bring in the circuit board by itself. I think these are actually going for $25 a pound. So I've almost got a, a pound here, which is great. Way more than I'm going to make for this board. As well, there's going to be places. Here I would have my RAM sticks. RAM sticks, great item that you're going to find out of your computer towers. I can see right here you've got some gold-plated fingers or prongs there. 
Uh, there is over a pound here, and this is just a, the tip of the iceberg of my collection. I will sell these. These are actually going for, I think, $15 a pound because of the gold and the other chips on, on top of this. I have also seen some people sell these online to different computer hobbyists and uh, computer uh, makers, people that like to uh, refurbish them and make them. Uh, that's definitely another option you can do online. But definitely, these are something that you're going to make more money on saving and selling um, in a hole than putting it on your circuit board and selling it as e-waste. As well, there are all different types. If I turn this, prongs that you can see on these motherboards. Easy to find. There's always going to be cables, and I just pull these cables off. Some really nice prongs there and in these ports. And that is what my viewer has asked me to do, uh, how to take those off. And I'm going to do that. You can see a couple of different piles that I have here. Uh, someone uh, mentioned something about gold in my USB ports. That is another great place. There are gold prongs, uh, gold plated prongs inside of those, as well as the phone jacks. If I turn this for you, there are some great prongs in that too. So I'm going to show you how to take all of these off um, easily, effectively, hopefully. You do want to make sure, word of caution, you have safety glasses on. Uh, there is obviously going to be a potential. Uh, when I cut these pins off, I don't want to see anything fly in my eye. In my opinion, the best tool that I have are side cutters to use on these. And I'm actually just going to start, because I'm just taking the pins, uh, I'm going to start with this circuit board. Um, there are also, this is another one I wanted to show. Sometimes you will see gold-plated different connectors right there. This board does have some really nice gold-plated there, as well as in here. These I will actually just leave as is, and I will sell these um, as is because it's got different gold in different spots throughout the circuit board, okay? But again, this is entirely up to you. I have seen some people remove the pins here, cut off that corner, cut off that corner, uh, cut that corner out as well, and just store up that gold-plated um, stuff. Um, but again, Definitely going to be better removing this gold and separating it from bringing this in and getting e-waste price. Okay, so again, I'm just going to first start with these prongs. Very easy to do. This came out of your DVD player. And all I'm actually going to do from behind, uh, I'm going to first cut the circuit board. I have a garbage bucket beside me here. Uh, and I will actually not throw this out. I will just bag this up and I'm actually going to bring it to an electronic depot. Um, I could actually also bring it to an e-waste uh, in a bag. Um, some places will take it. Some places will look at that as garbage. But if I take it to an electronic depot, they're definitely going to take that, especially if I have it in a bag, and they will be able to further recycle the rest of that. Okay. But very simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just get as close as I can to the prong. That's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to pull the prong out backwards okay it's a lot harder if i was to pull the prong out frontwards okay so just gonna quickly cut that and i'm just gonna pull the pin as you can see pulling it with my hand look at that there is a nice gold pin gold plated pin so all i have is a container here just gonna drop it in there gonna do all of these i'm just gonna kind of just uh get the close as i can to it Okay, and I want to just, just kind of break the rest of that plastic just to remove the pins. So here you go. Pull up. There are two pins. Okay, and I'm not going to do the whole thing, but just now that I've started. You can see that it's just going to take a little bit of time. And I, like I said, this is where... Your safety glasses come into play. Uh, there are two layers of gold prongs here. I want to make sure that I get all of them. Okay. Sometimes if I pull some of the circuit board up with it, I just want to make sure I cut that metal off. But as you can see, hang on. There, I'll turn that better. Look at that. There are a number of gold-plated pins. Hopefully you can see those. 
that I have now collected and it will go in that pile. So that is one thing. Another item that I have are something like, these are your connectors. This came off of the side. Sometimes you'll find these. Uh, if I take one out, very easy. Just going to take again my side cutters. Look at that beautiful gold plated pin. And I've got a couple of these. All I'm going to do is just twist them out. Okay, so again, that's why I got my desk for these. Um, and I will cut these actually to size using a pair of tin snips. Best way, in my opinion, to cut these circuit boards. Uh, but some really beautiful gold pins that I have or gold plated pins. Look how beautiful that is. How shiny that is. That is all gold plated. So again, it adds up. There's some more in there. This is going to go as computer pins. Okay. And again, this was just in a holder that has different, you know, RAM sticks and other types of items. Okay. Another one that I have are common. As I said, I wanted to do the phone jack. These have a case of brass on it, I believe. Um, it is a non-metallic or non-magnetic casing. And all I'm going to do is actually just use my side cutters again. I'm going to first remove the casing. As you can see, there are my gold prongs. And all I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just cut this plastic again using a pair of side cutters. I want to open up the case so I can get at the prongs. The prongs are actually kind of uh, woven around this. Um, that I can see them right now. I'm just going to bend this a little bit, uh, remove as much plastic as I can, and I'm just going to fold, just fold the gold. I'm going to just pull this plastic off, and you're going to be able to see very carefully. I don't want to snap any of these prongs, but they just slide out. But I want to quickly show you how beautiful. Look at that. Look how nice those gold prongs are, or gold pins. Okay, so again, now I'm again just going to go from the back. Now that I have no uh, plastic holding it in, I'm just going to grab it again with my side cutter. Just going to slide it out. Look at the size of that. That's one. Okay, they just slide out really easy. Okay, there's two of them. Oh. Just, it doesn't get easier than that. All right, so again, beautiful gold pins that I'm going to make a lot more money on. And again, if I have to, I can easily break this. There are my last two, so really nice long pins. Okay, the items, another item that I have that I, people often look over are your cables. Different cables, there are cables like this or blue and if I was to take this up to the camera, again, there are gold pins in here. And all I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually just going to cut the top of this. Um, right, there are two lines here. Just gonna cut underneath the line. And usually, with this one, sorry, I should have done this one first. I'm gonna do this one. There are my pins. Okay, you can see the pins there. And these ones, the gold does not go all the way down. So the nice thing is because I cut at that line, the gold in this is going to be reachable with my side cutters. Okay, so all I'm going to do, take my side cutters. Okay, there's not a lot of gold in here, but something is better than nothing. I hope you can see those little pieces. Again, I store those up. Okay, and that's what's kind of nice about having a black desk here. Uh, another one, as you can see, there are my gold pins, very visual. I'm just going to cut from the back of this so I can get to it. Okay, going to cut the plastic behind it. Okay, so nice thing is, and I can always actually just cut a little bit of that plastic off. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what the beauty of the side cutter is. Cut this off. Okay, so there are my pins still in there. And I'm going to go from, I can go from the, the top here. I can actually also open this up. 
and I'm just gonna grab the pins, okay? Slide that casing off, which I just did. And again, I'm gonna go from behind and get the pins. So again, they're all gonna add up. I'm just gonna start grabbing them from behind, take off that plastic mesh. And here's some more pins. I'm gonna grab them again and show you. There they are, there's the gold-plated pins. Again, some more pins. Okay, so another great place that, are, that is often overlooked. And the last one I wanted to show was, um, again, your prongs that you see, for example, on something like this. All I'm gonna do, first off, is just gonna cut it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cut with my tin snips. Where are they? There they are. Okay, take the tin snips. Just cut that circuit board, get these pins out. Okay, again, just bend it, there we go. So there is some pins. These pins, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the back. Okay, you can see I just cut the back, and again, I'm gonna go from the back and pull it outwards. There is a nice gold pin. Okay, so beautiful pins, easy to remove. As you can see, already in what, 14 minutes, talking slow, looking at it, I've got a nice collection of pins. What I'm gonna do for your benefit right now is I'm actually going to weigh it. I have a scale right here. I'm gonna show some of the fruits of my labor. Okay, my scale, one of just beautiful pins here. So these pins, again, I said, they're all gold plated. But my scale is set at zero now. Look at those gold pins. Okay, there's a, I and I have 3.25 ounces here. Okay, so again, some really nice gold pins here. I gotta be very careful because that's a lot of work there. So 3.25 ounces of pins. And again, they're not pure, but again, there's a lot of gold on there. I have from just CPU chips, I have two pounds and 2.005 pounds. So again, some really nice gold on that. I already said I have a pound and a bit from Rams. As well, I have just in here, these are your gold plated ribbons. Okay, and these you do have to be very careful when you are selling these online, the scrap yard or the yards or whoever the source, you do have to make sure that you cut as close to the pins as possible. And just here alone, I have two, 2.15 ounces just worth of these and there's a couple more in here. So 2.35 ounces right there. So a lot of gold pins, a lot of gold from different places, in my opinion, very easy to take off, uh, very efficient way. Hopefully, as I said, make sure you have safety glasses on. Make sure you have an area where you can catch those pins because I have had a couple that have fallen and they're very tiny. But the nice thing is, is gold is very shiny, so they do stand out. Um, but again, hopefully that answered that question. Hopefully that uh, allowed it to a little bit easier for you. Definitely worth getting those pins for the precious metal. Um, please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.